Hey, this is Jay from Encodian. So we're gonna have another look at one of our utility actions and today we're gonna to have a look at formatting text case. So I've got a really simple flow here. Um, it's not focused on any given scenario. We just really wanna have a look at the mechanics of the action, how it works, how we can pass in some text and how we can format that case. So let's get started. I've got a manually triggered flow here and I'm gonna ask the user to provide a text value to initiate the flow. I'm next gonna add the Encodian action, so I can just go standard, go to Encodium. Uh, all of the utility actions are found at the bottom, they're all prefixed with utility, so we'll click see more, we'll click see more again, and I can literally just scroll straight to the bottom, and somewhere in here I'll find format as text case, there we go. It takes two, um, well, uh, a property and then there's a selection that you can make. We've got text, which is basically the text value that we wanna process, and in this example, we've taking the text value from the, that's provided as part of the trigger action. Uh, action is the formatting action which we want to apply to the text. So that could be upper, lower, title case, sentence case, toggle case. There's always, there's also some invariance as well. And this is so that where you have some text value that you want to format, but you don't want to uh, take in effect the, the culture. So they effectively culture in sensitive formatting. We'll do something dead simple. So we'll just go straight for to upper and uh, if you want to look at the advanced options, you can just simply control the culture there if you need to. Um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add uh, an, an email, well, an action to send me an email. Our notifications. And I'm just simply going to do formatted text. And I'm going to select the result property from the uh, encoding utility action, which will contain the formatted text value. So I'm just going to pop that into the body of the email. And I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to test this action. So what we should see is whatever text value I, I pass in uh, is going to come out, obviously, formatted within the email that's been sent to me. So let's go ahead and test. Manually trigger it. And I'm going to copy and paste the text value in so you can see just a standard center, some capitalization. I'll click run flow, click done. Might be able to see, I can check the inputs and outputs. I won't go and check the email because it's fairly formulaic, but there's the text I've passed in. Mixture of uh, lower and upper case. And I've set, I want that to be to upper and I can look at the outputs and I can see that entire text string has been converted to upper case. And again, if I look at semi Nino notification, I'll see that in the body. So hopefully that gives you a really good example of how you can use this action. Of course, if you have any questions about this action or any other utility action, you can email us at support.encoding.com or visit us at support.encoding.com.